Top-rated Fox News host and anchor Jesse Waters delivered some good news about his family in an announcement on Monday, which also explained his absence from the popular network shows featuring him. Waters welcomed his fourth child into the world on Monday, his wife announced in a post to Instagram, the Daily Caller reported. We are so excited to announce the birth of our baby girl, Georgina Post Waters, Emma D. Giovine Waters captioned the post that included photos. We love her so much already. The photos include the couple smiling widely while each clutches their newborn. The couple also has a two-year-old son, Jesse Bailey Waters Jr., born in April 2021. Waters, meanwhile, has twin daughters from his previous marriage to Noel and Guagiato, the Daily Caller noted further. Jesse Waters announced the good news on air in December. During a segment on The Five, co-host Greg Gutfeld jokingly began the segment by saying Jesse had a life-changing announcement to make. Waters jumped in and revealed that his wife is currently five months into her pregnancy and was expecting the child this month. My wife, Emma, is pregnant with a girl. So, we're having a girl and she's five months along which I think is halfway through, Waters said, followed by a celebratory reaction from his fellow co-hosts. And she looks fantastic, you can't even tell that she's pregnant. The five panel celebrated the news, which included a few jokes from Gutfeld, who immediately asked why the couple would not allow their child to decide the gender. Earlier in the month, Fox News provided a big update on the status of one of its most popular hosts, Kaylee McEnany. The panel of Outnumbered, which McEnany co-hosts, announced she has given birth to her second child, a son. Nash Gilmartin was born on Tuesday, November 29, joining three-year-old daughter Blake. McEnany made an announcement on Twitter. Resist the Mainstream reported that McEnany's co-hosts also announced and celebrated the birth. As the panel celebrated the newborn, co-host Emily Campagno quoted James 1 verse 17, saying, Every good and perfect gift from above, coming down from the Father of the Heavenly Lights. The segment showed a photograph of McEnany holding baby Nash while kissing his forehead with her husband, Sean Gilmartin, kissing hers. A separate photograph showed Blake sitting crisscrossed on the floor with her new brother. She announced her pregnancy on the show in June. My husband, at Gilmartin Sean, and I are thrilled to announce that I am almost four months pregnant with our second child, making baby Blake a big sister. God has given us another incredible blessing, the former Trump White House press secretary tweeted at the time. Thank you to at Fox News at Outnumbered FNC for allowing me to share this wonderful news. Prior to the release of the news, McEnany went viral again as she rebuked a patently false claim from two-time failed Georgia Democratic gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams regarding fetal heart tones. There is no such thing as a heartbeat at six weeks. It is a manufactured sound designed to convince people that men have the right to take control of a woman's body, Abrams said this week during a campaign event at the Ray Charles Performing Arts Center in Atlanta. I believe that abortion is a medical decision, not a political decision. Arbitrary politically defined timelines are deeply problematic because they ignore the reality of medical and physiological issues, she added in a clip tweeted by the Republican National Committee which also accused Abrams of supporting no limits on abortion. McEnany responded to Abrams during a segment on Outnumbered, where she serves as a primary co-host. Stacey Abrams said there's no such thing as a heartbeat at six weeks. It is a manufactured sound designed to convince people that men have the right to take control of a woman's body, she is wrong. I heard my baby's heartbeat at my first OBGYN appointment. It was not manufactured, she tweeted along with the show segment.